On today's episode of the Deron Messinger Show, we're previewing and predicting number 15, Iowa State, versus number 20, Texas. Longhorns fans, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. So to begin, we have some basic game info for you guys. The game will be on Black Friday at 11 a.m. at Daryl K. Royal Texas Memorial Stadium in Austin, Texas. The game will be televised on ABC, and the Longhorns are one-and-a-half-point favorites. Yeah, and obviously this game has big, big 12 title game implications, but it's not going to be easy for the Longhorns. Iowa State's got the leading uh, nation's leading running back in Brees Hall, who's currently at 1,169 yards rushing on the year. And then under the center, we got Brock Purdy, who's been inconsistent, but as of late has been doing well. He's uh, currently, he's thrown for 1,713 passing yards. And, you know, obviously he's going to be a big factor in this game. And the game will be dictated by how well he plays. And then obviously with the tight ends, led by Charlie Kohler, stands at an astounding six foot six. The, they can really stretch the, uh, stretch the field and put pressure on these uh, Longhorns linebackers, Devin. Definitely. And then another name to mention on that defense, you got Mike Rose at linebacker, leading the Big 12 in interceptions with four, which is pretty incredible. And then Hutchinson, and then as you mentioned, the tight end trio have been outstanding for Purdy, who's been playing up to his standards lately. And then Brees Hall, the Longhorns are going to have to contain him to the best of their ability. Hall has been just amazing so far. But what's your X factors for this game? Well, my X-Factors for both sides are the QBs, but, you know, obviously you know what Brees Hall is going to do. If you can limit him to maybe a little over 100 yards or preferably under 100 yards, you have a fighting chance. But really the main thing is going to be how well Purdy plays. Is he going to throw for 400 yards? Because if he does, it's going to be a long night for the Longhorns defense. And then on the other side, obviously with Ellinger, he needs to play like Ellinger and play consistently. He needs to, you know, not turn the ball over. I know I say that pretty much every episode, but that's really what's going to dictate this game if he can, you know, control the pace and, uh, you know, score some points. Yeah, and to agree with you and stopping the run, my X factor is the entire Longhorns defensive yeah. front. I'm going to list off some guys that have been showing up lately. Osai, obviously, then Taekwon Graham and Moro Ajomo. And then also, in addition to eating... Keandre Coburn, a.k.a. Snacks, is supposed to be back this week. So that's something to watch out for. Longhorns are going to have to at least contain Hall a little bit. He's still going to do work. But if you can force pressure on Purdy, that's the key to the game, really. Make him throw some contested passes when he's getting really just knocked down on his back. But what's your danger level for this game? Well, my danger level is, is going to be an 8. I, I think Iowa State is the better team in this scenario, but I do think the Longhorns have a chance. But, I mean, how do you feel about this game, Devin? I'm giving it an 8-2. I think, as you mentioned earlier, this is almost like a Big 12 championship game in and of itself. The winner of this game will most likely be in the Big 12 championship, barring anything crazy. So it's big just for, really, both teams in general because, in the end, this is their championship game. I'm, I'm staking that. Yeah. So what's your prediction? My prediction is going to be 35-34 to 34, Iowa State. I mean, the Longhorns have been playing well, but this is, you know, obviously they just entered back into the conversation, so this is when they're planning on letting their fans down, Devin. I, I know the Oklahoma State game was really showed the talent level they have, but they got to they gotta come up clutch here. That's not what I like to hear, but <laughs> I'm picking Texas 27-24 to 24 in this game. This could go really any number of ways, like we always say every week. The Longhorns on offense have been unconfident lately, and Kansas was supposed to be a confidence builder, but then obviously that got canceled or postponed, so Longhorns have had two bye weeks practically in a row. So it will be important for Longhorns to shake off that rust really quickly, but if they lose, obviously they miss their chance at the Big 12 title game. So what do you guys think? Who's going to win this matchup? Let us know down below. Have a great rest of your day, and don't forget to like and subscribe.